There it is again to Fredrickson. One man, he gets by him. And finally, Paul Krause brings him down at about the 30-yard line. First down at 10, 7 minutes, 28 seconds left to play. And again, that draw play that worked so well. You see Alex Webster motioning Butch Wilson into the game to replace Freeman White, who is limping off the field. Wilson going in at the tight end position. But the draw play working well against the Viking front four, who have been sort of freewheeling on their pass rush. Fredrickson, 56 yards on 10 carries. Well, hello. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. And welcome to the gridiron. And before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone out there who's been watching my videos. Thank you. If you can maybe give this video a thumbs up or possibly leave a comment below or maybe even share this video, it would mean so much to me. But anyway, just thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to check out this video. Thank you. Well, I saw a uh, an article. Um, I'll leave a uh, link. It looks like it's Giants Wire from USA Today. I'll leave a, leave a link. You can check it out. It's pretty interesting. Um... They were showing the RAS scores for the Giants' 11 draft picks. And uh, in the article, it's like, what is RAS, you ask? Well, the RAS, also known as Relative Athletic Score, is a measurement of a player's athletic testing in relationship to both size and historic results. Each individual measurement is graded on a scale of 0 to 10. 10 being obviously the high. 10, 10 is <laughs> perfection. Uh, 10 is Lawrence Taylor. Right? Uh, here's a quick look at the RAS scores for all 11 giant draft picks. And it was like, I was, I was looking at it. I mean, the first one I seen was Thibodeau. And I'm like, yeah. Course, you know, but I'm just starting to scan, kind of throw them all, and I'm like, man, uh, these guys are the scores are really pretty good. Um, pretty much like seven out of the eleven. I mean, I mean, you know, really good. One of them really is score, and I'll you know, show you, or I'll mention that when we get to him. But uh, his score really got knocked down quite a bit because of his size now and maybe you can kind of figure out who that is but we'll get to him so we'll start off the first one obviously it was you know pick number one or number five overall was uh Kayvon, all right all right um he graded out a 9.63 i mean a 10 is the highest 9.63 i mean <laughs> that's phenomenal uh let's see the, the couple of things, I mean, the one thing that knocked him down was his height. I mean, uh, and his weight. His weight is only two, 254. All right, so they, he, he got a 3.46 on his weight. I mean, so his weight's a little low. I mean, if, his, if, he, if he was like 10 pounds, 15 pounds heavier, I mean, my God, he'd probably be like a 9.7 or 9.8, something like that. I mean, the, the, his weight really knocked him down, but... His 40-yard dash is a 4.58. That was a 9.8, the greatest 20-yard split. His grade graded out at 9.77. His 10-yard split, he graded out at 9.88. I mean, you know, he, he said his composite speed grade is elite, right? So he graded at 9.63 out of 10. Now, if you look at the, they said his 9.63 out of a possible 10, right? It ranked 56th out of 1,503 defensive ends from 1987 to 2022. All right, so if we, let me see. If I get that, we get, uh, what is it, 56? I think it's the top, like, 4 percentile divided by 1503. Yeah, not even the 4th percent. I mean, I mean, we're talking 3 point... 0.037 percentile. I mean, it's like, I mean, good, good numbers. Now, the next one obviously is Evan Neal. Um, they, he, he didn't, he didn't really. They don't have like a 40 time on him or 20 yard split or a shuttle or a three cone or vertical or nothing. All right, they, they only got three measurements on him and they're all phenomenal. Um, 
his uh, his his size grade is elite. It's 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 highlighted in green. His weight is um, is three thirty seven. As, so he's a 9.48, and his height, 6 foot 7, is 9.36. So the, all the, the only grades they got on him, he's, he's elite, right? I said they don't, they don't have a, you know, he didn't, no running grades, no, he didn't do the, the, the bench press or nothing like that. But uh, the, the, the three scores they got on him, they're all highlighted in green, which is phenomenal, right? Then we got Wandell, all right, Robinson now. This is the guy who said his his size really killed him. He's a seven point three six, so that's that's really really bad. His height at five eight and his weight at one seventy eight. That's what absolutely killed him. Those numbers are in red. I think red is like the absolute worst you can get. It looks like there's like green, there's yellow, there's red. So I mean, red is very poor. Okay, yellow is good. Uh, green is elite. All right, so his 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 forty yard dash is elite. His twenty yard splits elite. His ten yard split is a nine point eight four. I mean, out of ten, that's elite. His shuttle is a fourth. He did a four thirteen in the shuttle. That's that's, that's an eight point four five. Right. So I mean, uh, I mean, you gotta give him a, his bench press is a nine. He did nineteen reps. I mean, that was elite. Okay, especially with his height and size and all that. All right, but. His composite speed grade is elite, right? But overall, okay, um, you know, he graded out a 7.36, which is, you know, just kind of like good or okay, I guess. But, I mean, it, it, what really killed him, all right, was his height and his weight. Now, if he was, like, six foot tall and he was, like, maybe 200 pounds and he had all these other numbers, I mean, he, he, would, he certainly would grade out a lot higher. But what killed him is his height and his weight. All right, so then we got the next guy. All right, let's see, is Joshua Izudu, all right? I mean, he graded out really good. He graded out 219 out of 1,298 offensive guards. That's like the, the let's see, what do we got here? 219, 219 divided by 1,298. All right, that's like the 17th percentile, which is really, really good, okay? Uh, he graded out 8.32 overall, right? I mean, his composite speed grade is great. His 10-yard split was an 8.34. His, his, his shuttle, he did in 4.56 seconds, which was a 9.05 as far as the grades. I mean, so he, so I was pretty shocked to see him in there. I mean, his uh, relative athletic score is pretty good. Then we got... Let's see. Then we got Cordell Flott. I mean, cornerback from Flor from Louisiana, LSU. I mean, this is where I, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, scratching my head I, I, with, the, with this pick. I mean, he's like a, supposed to be like a slot cornerback. We, we just got a couple slot cornerbacks in the past couple drafts. I don't know why we got another one. I mean, you know, uh, but he graded out a 7.46. So that's just like good. All right, overall. Um, you know, his 20-yard split was very good. His 40-yard 40, his 40 dash is 4.52, which is, you know, you like it you like in the 4-4s, four but, you know. Uh, you know. He didn't do a bench press. His vertical jump was only 34 inches, which is really bad. It's, it's six foot tall, but he, he only weighs 175 pounds. So it's 175 pounds. That, that's really bad. That really brought him down. He needs to put, like, by 10, 10, 15 pounds on him, hopefully with some muscle, and that'll, that'll bring his grade back up. But he graded out at a 7.46. But then the rest of these guys here, I'm, 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 I'm a bunch of more elite scorers. And then we got Daniel Bellinger. I mean, this guy, unbelievable. He graded out at a 9.66, which just goes to show he's ranked 35th out of 1,014. Tight ends, 35 divided by 10, 14. He's in the three, third percentile. I mean, I mean, we're talking elite of elite. Now, if you go here, 9.66, if you compare some of these other guys' scores, okay, 
Travis Kelsey was a 9.58. Greg Olson, 9.46. Uh, again, Dallas Goddard, 9.65. But I mean, I mean, you just got to go to show you. Luke Wilson from Rice, who was drafted in 2013, okay? Um, it was a 9.94, so it doesn't always mean that the guy these these scores that they're that good. Come on, everybody! My dog wants to get in there. Um, yeah, it doesn't translate so much necessarily to you know uh, the pros, but even uh, George Kittle, he was a nine point. I think it was like a 9.3 or 9.4. So I mean, I mean what? I mean Bellinger hit. I mean his his. I mean, his 10-yard split, is at one, he did it 1.52 seconds. That's an, he, he graded out at a 9.97 on a 10-yard split, which is amazing. His broad jump is like, uh, it was like 10 feet. 10 feet. No, it's a 9.65 for his height and weight and all and everything. His, com, um, his composite speed grade is elite. It's 40-yard dash, you know, because it was height and weight. You know, we did 4.6 trace. So his grade was a 9.17. His 20-yard split was a 9.33. His three cone was uh, 8.14. The thing that really killed him here was his, his shuttle. He did in 4.47 seconds. He graded out really, really bad on that one. But, I mean, overall, I mean, 9.66 on his, his, uh, his RAS. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal grade. I mean, hopefully that transfers over to the pros. Then we got Dane Belton. Heard, you know, this guy is like a, um, uh, you know, I mean, see a lot of people on there saying he, he's going to be a beast and this, that, and the other thing. He great. He's he's ranked fifty one out of eight hundred and sixty three. Right, eight sixty three equals. All right, so he's in like the sixth percentile. I mean, as far as the RAS score. Right, um, he graded. That, he's a nine point four two overall. I mean, very very good. His forty yard dash is a four point four three. I mean, he he graded out a nine point six six on that. His twenty yard split is a two point five two. He graded out at a nine point eight nine. I mean, his ten yard split was a one point four nine. He graded out a nine point nine six. Absolutely phenomenal. His broad jump, you know, he graded out very well at. His vertical could use a little, you know. I think that, I don't know, they got, they got him for his height and his weight a little bit. They're just kind of good. That kind of brought his score down a little bit. But he's a 9.42 out of 10. I mean, they compare to some of those, some of his scores here. Let's see. I mean, there's some other guys. I mean... I mean, if you look at here. I mean, Michael Huff from Texas in 2006 graded out at a 9.84. I mean, yeah, so some of these guys, I mean, just because the, the RAS score is really, really high does not necessarily mean it's going to translate to a Hall of Famer in the pros. But, I mean, it's just nice to see. I mean, it, you know, it seemed like the Giants were kind of targeting possibly guys that had some really, really good numbers. Then we had Micah McFadden. All right, the a linebacker from Indiana, he graded at a 9.47, right? His height is what brought him down. He's only six foot one. I mean, that's the, I mean they want him, up, I guess, a little bit higher, a little bit, a little bit taller. You know, he, he would have graded out probably even higher. But his composite speed grade overall is elite. His 10-yard split was a 1.54, which graded out at a 9.81. His 20-yard split, he graded out at a Two, he did 2.62 uh, seconds, which graded out at 9.54. I mean, his three cone shuttle was under seven seconds. Yeah, I mean, so he, I mean, overall, he really, really did good. I mean, he graded out at 9.47. This ranked 130th out of 2,419 linebackers. So let's see here 130 divided by 2419. He's in the fifth percentile. Phenomenal score. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal score. Then we got D. D I don't know what they're saying. I mean, D.J. Davidson. Okay. 
he graded out a 4.15, which is really bad. I mean, the only thing good on him is his weight. His weight is three, they got 328 pounds. All right. But I mean, you know, I mean, he graded out really. His broad jump was horrible. His vertical was 28. I mean, you know, his bench press, he only did 23 reps. His 40 yard dash is 5.22 seconds. I mean, you know, he, you know, he had some really, really bad grades here. So he, he, he graded out absolute, the absolute worst out of all of them. Then we got uh, Marcus McCathan, all right, the, uh, the other lineman, offensive lineman from North Carolina. We got two of them, right? Um, he graded at 7.10, so nothing super special there. Um, his weight was really, really good. He's with 340 pounds. That's, you know, really good. Uh, his bench, he did 27 reps. His broad jump was nine feet. That was for him. That's really, really good. But he, he, he slow, very slow. His 40 yard dash, 5.31. I mean, he did almost, his shuttle was almost five seconds. Not good. Uh, you know, everything, you know, really, really pretty, pretty bad, you know, but uh, I mean, what do you, what do you want? I mean, we got him in the fifth round, you know what I mean? So, right. Then, the, but then the last guy, all right, Darian Beavers, okay, the other linebacker we got from Cincinnati, he graded out a 9.6, which is 97, let me see, let me figure this out, 97 out of 24, 19, 97 divided by 24, 19. He's in the fourth percentile as far as the RAS score since 1987. All right, man. You're going back 35 years. I mean, that's pretty impressive. He's in the fourth percentile. So he's got so he's got some athletic ability, right? I mean, his um, let's see, his height six point six foot three is really really good. His vertical he did 36 and a half. His broad jump is 10 feet. Um, let's see, his three cone, sh his shuttle, his three cone was, uh, he graded out a 9.09. .09. His shuttle was a 9.11. You know, so I mean, he, you know, he really, really, I mean, for our, our, the last pick, we got him in the sixth round. He graded out at a 9.60. Now, some comparisons here. Let me see if there's anybody I can compare it to. Clay Matthews, right, from Southern California, he graded out 9.62. So he graded out a little bit better. Darian Beavers is a 9.60. Clay Matthews is a 9.62. All right, now, oh, oh, okay, here you go. Devin Lloyd, right? You know how high he got drafted. Devin Lloyd was a 9.58. This guy's a 9.6. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying he's going to be better than Devin, than, uh, Devin Lloyd. I'm not saying that. But, I mean, you know, yeah, some of these other guys, are, I, I, a couple of these guys I never even heard of before. But uh, Quentin Corriott, I heard of him. But, I mean, you know, so it just goes to show you. I mean, I mean, I'll tell you what. I mean, I don't know if the Giants were targeting, you know, this specifically, guys with good RAS scores or exactly what it was. But, uh, I mean... Pretty much like seven out of the eleven guys that the Giants drafted, all right, the RAS score, all right, was as you check this article out, they're like in the green, all right, which is really, really, really good. Um, now the only you know, the only thing is the relative athletic score. It really is like elite. Seven out of the eleven, if you can can't include Ev Evan Neal, all right. It's just his height and weight and size and all is elite, all right. But the only thing is, is that, you know, um, just because the RAS scores are elite, yeah, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate to the pros. If it does, pff, Giants got themselves a hell of a draft class. Well, as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. You guys stay safe out there and go Giants! Woo!